Hello, hello. I am back. This is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. And today is August 3rd, 2021, and it is the launch of our brand new mini catalog. And in celebration all day today, throughout the day, I'm going to pop on and do fun, free, paper crafting, inspirational videos for you. I'm also offering a special for any orders that are placed in the next two weeks, you will be entered into a drawing and I am giving away the hostess rewards for that workshop. So one lucky person will earn all the host rewards for my workshop. Okay, if you're placing an order that is $150 or more, you're not going to want to use my host code. You're going to want to place your own order and claim those host rewards yourself. But for anybody who wants to place an order that's under $150, you will have a chance at winning the host rewards. Isn't that exciting? Okay, today, my first video, I actually was on already and I walked through the catalog. Um, but my first demo today, I'm going to use Clever Cats. You know that I am the crazy cat lady. I love my kitty cats. So I'm going to make two cards using this stamp set. And I am using some of the cute Halloween sweet items. I've pulled some of the DSP. And I'm going to possibly use these cute sequins and maybe this ribbon. I haven't decided if it's going to be this ribbon or this ribbon which is our glittered organdy ribbon okay all right two cards let's get started these are very easy cards they are very cute cards all right the first one <clears throat> i have some let me pull out my insides here let me put that to the side i have some basic black some gorgeous grape and that dsp let me grab, I'm going to need a Stampin' Blend pen, which I forgot to pull, so let me grab that. We don't have a gorgeous grape, so I might need to use a colored pencil. Let's see. Let's see. I might have to use a colored pencil, because we don't have a gorgeous grape. I wish we did. All right. All right, here's my gorgeous grape colored pencil, and I'll need a blender pen. So I haven't used those in a while, so let me pull one of those. Here we go. All right. All right, now if you do happen to catch me while I am live, please give me a little shout out. Comment on my video. Let me know that you're watching my live. Okay. So I have cut just your basic card base in bl uh, basic black here. And then I've cut a mat of gorgeous grape. One of my favorite colors. And I want to make sure that I have burnished this well. It doesn't want to seem to uh, lay flat. So let's do that again. Come on. All right. Then I cut a strip of this DSP, and I want a little bit of the gorgeous grape around. I've also cut some of these stripes, a little bit smaller, and I can tell you dimensionals. I just, I eyeballed it, to be perfectly honest with you. And I should have, here it is, I should have some of that beautiful hi Gail some of that beautiful black glitter paper this was a returning favorite okay a little bit of sparkle in there and then I stamped my cute little cat that's sitting in a box I'm gonna color the box and then I used some retired dies on this card, so forgive me. I'm wondering, maybe we should do, maybe we should do an orange box, just to give it a little more color. Let's do an orange box. 
So I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. How's the weather, Gail? This morning I woke up and it was 69 degrees here. And we're going to get up to 99 today. It's been hot in the evening, so most of the summer we've been lucky that we could open the windows at night and air the house out and not have to have the AC on. But it seems like the last week we've had very hot evenings, and so we've had to keep the AC on and um, not open those windows. All right, so you guys know that I am a cat lover. I had to get this stamp set. I'm not a big fan of Halloween. I don't like witches and goblins, and I don't like the scary, grotesque part of Halloween. Um, but I do um, like the cutesies. You know, God made cats. He made bats. He made spiders so I don't mind that part of it I'm just not into the occultic part of Halloween okay so there's a cute little box fat cat sitting in the box we're going to adhere this to my die and then I'm going to pop it up on some dimensionals but before I do that let's glue down all our little layers here okay I did the gorgeous great mat, so let's do our pieces. All right. Are you excited about the new catalog, Gail? What is your favorite part of the new catalog? Oops, I think I went over too much. Let's see if I can lift that up a little bit. Oh, well. We'll make do. We will make do. What's your favorite part in the new catalog? Or, you know, what's your favorite suite, maybe? There are a lot of favorites. Now, I did look up, I was reading the updates. On Tuesdays, demonstrators get an email that tells us updates uh, regarding business. And there are a couple items that are not quite available yet. Why am I? I'm going to move this down a little bit. Looks like I didn't. And that's okay. I'm going to put this here. There are a couple items that are not in the warehouse yet. So the Memories of More uh, Gingerbread Pack is not available yet. It has not arrived due to COVID. And the, um, goodness gracious, the Gingerbread Peppermint cards and envelopes are not available. And then if you were to purchase the entire suite, the Gingerbread Peppermint a sweet, it is not available yet. So those are all in that one suite. They're not here yet. And then the Blackberry DSP is not here yet. I'm anxiously waiting that. That's like, I think my favorite paper and I haven't been able to get my hands on it yet. So that's not available yet. So then the suite would not be available because they wouldn't be able to give you the paper yet. Are you talking, Gail, are you talking the plants from the annual catalog? Um, I was asking about the holiday catalog. Are you talking about plants like all the berries and pine cones and boughs from the holiday catalog? Or are you talking about the plant suite from the annual catalog? Today is all about the holiday catalog. I'm going to be playing with all different holiday catalog items. So out of the holiday catalog, what is your favorite, Gail? I'm sure you've gotten your holiday catalog by now. Okay. 
Okay, I love that sparkly glitter paper. Just gives it a little extra, doesn't it? All right, this sentiment that I stamped says, really, I have been cute. I've been this cute all nine lives. <laughs> and then let's get some of this ribbon. This is that glittery organdy ribbon. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a heart and share this video. If you're watching the live or the replay. Okay, share the love. That way your friends and family can watch these videos also. So what is your favorite, Gail? I know we all have to kind of wait until our play money comes in, but what was your favorite? Or is it hard to decide? There's several things that I like. I, it's hard to say what's my favorite. I have to say the paper, I like pretty much all the paper. I have some that I like more than others, but the paper is gorgeous. I would say there's some really good sentiment stamps too. Really great sentiment stamps in this catalog. I need a glue dot. Let me grab my glue dots here. Okay. If you're watching, don't forget to comment. Let me know that you're here. All right, so cute little bow. And then let's grab some of these star sequins. And that will help give a little more color into our card. So let's see. I'm going to pull an orange star. I think I'm just going to do orange ones because we have the orange box and I've already got purple on here and I already have lots of black. So let's just do a couple orange stars. Give it a little more sparkle. I know there is so much to choose from. All right, now I'm going to do the inside of my card. Isn't that cute? So cute. I love the kitty cat. All right. I had a little scrap of this paper so in, from when I was cutting this piece. So instead of throwing it away, I am going to use it on the inside. Oh, I need my little um, silicone mat. Where is he? Where is he? I might have to. I was so excited to get on here with you. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's grab this and that way I don't get all sticky. get my just my little gummy eraser there if you don't have one of these uh, you can pick them up at Dollar Tree in their craft section we don't sell them anymore we used to years ago awesome awesome invention okay now it says really I've been this cute all nine lives and then I'm gonna say Thank you. 
it's Halloween. And then I think I'm going to also pull <clears throat> one of the stamps in here is this cute little spider with a spider web. So I think I'm going to pull that and add that to this card. All right. I'm, let me just put... That little spider web there and then my little cute spider not all spiders are really cute in real life but this is a cute one so we're gonna add that little spider right there and then how about I think we have some bats yep we have some little bats so let's do a couple bats. All right. All right. And then we're going to glue that in here. On my gorgeous grape mat just to give it a little pop of color because I feel like there's so much black and white and I like to have color. And then we'll glue this on the inside of our card. There we go. All right, so there's the front of our card. Stinking cute. And then it's Halloween. All right, and then I have one more, and then I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to create a little bit more, and then I'll hop back on again. I'm just going to be hopping on all day today. I don't have any set times. Just depends on how fast I create. But this is one of my last opportunities. Um, I'm going away on a camping trip with the family before school starts. And then next week it's school for my two. And then the week after that, I go back to school. I can hardly believe that summer break is coming to an end. I just can't believe it. I feel like summer went by so fast for us. So this just has boo all over in different um, fonts and sizes. And then I've cut a piece of pumpkin pie. And then I cut another strip of that DSP. And this has ghosts on it. They're marshmallow ghosts. They're, they're cute ghosts. They're not scary, ugly ghosts. So I can handle it. We'll just pretend that they are marshmallow peep ghosts. How's that? And I want a little bit of pumpkin pie on both sides of that DSP. All right. And I think I'm going to pop that with some dimensionals while I'm thinking of it. Um, let's see. We almost weren't going to be able to go on our camping trip. We've made reservations back in February, March, but we've had car issues ever since February and it's been very expensive. We actually ended up having to buy a new car. It's not new, new, it's a used car. Um, but then that car had a problem and we needed to have that taken care of and with COVID, it seems like nobody wants to work. It seems everywhere I drive in town, I'm seeing help wanted signs. Like people are not working and it's really, really sad. So it took us forever to get our car fixed over at the Ford dealer. We have a Ford Expedition now. Uh, we did before, but this is a newer one. And... 
we needed it to haul the trailer. Well, we finally got that fixed, but we needed to put in an electric brake so that when we're hauling the trailer, the trailer doesn't crash into our car. And we're also in the process of selling some rental properties. So we're trying to do that. Um, the tenants that were in our rental property trashed it. So we're having to put in all brand new carpet, all brand new flooring. The inside had to be totally repainted. I mean, the house was trashed. Um, and this, we had already done all of that when we bought the house and we're making it ready to rent. So it's only been three years and now we're spending thousands of dollars out of our pocket because by the way, these people did not pay their rent when we told them we were going to sell the house. Uh, they got 60 days and they decided not to pay the rent on top of that. So it's just been a huge mess. And our goal is to try and pay off our house. We're trying to pay off our house. Um, and we've been praying about this and just feel like God was really pushing us in this direction. So anyway, we've had a lot going on. We've been very preoccupied and had to get this brake put on our car. But we've been preoccupied. We could have done it sooner, but we just didn't get to it with all this stuff we're trying to get done with this rental house so that we can sell it. Long story short, everybody's booked like two months out. We, f we finally find one person. He says, if you bring the car in today, which was yesterday, I can get it done for you. Um, so that, oops, I shouldn't have put this here. That really was an answer to prayer. I just said, okay, Lord, I'm trusting that you're going to work this out. I really would like to take the kids camping before we go back to school. And... Mike needs some time to just relax and not stress because he's been running around all over town taking care of things. So God worked it out. So this will be our last hurrah before we go back to school. Crazy, crazy times. But God is good, and he, he took care of it. He took care of it. All right. So I used some dies from one of our Christmas sets. It's the um, Christmas season set, and we had some sentiment dies. I used two of them, the white piece is a die and then the black glitter piece is a die. What I ended up doing was gluing my white piece down on my pumpkin pie and I just trimmed around it. So I, I fussy cut the orange piece um, because I wanted another layer. All right. What are you guys thinking? Isn't this cute? So there's a little kitty and he's stuck in the jack-o'-lantern. And annoyed that there's a spider trying to get him. Yes, Gail, God always takes care of us. Um, we don't know necessarily how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen, but God is always faithful. Not that bad things don't happen to good people. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I know that God loves us and he takes care of us. So he chose to work this situation out in our favor. And I am thankful. The tenants trashing our property was not a good thing. That was a bad thing that's cost us thousands of dollars. Um, but in that situation, God has really, really made himself known. We have our handyman who is 
working with us right now and getting that house ready. He's He dropped everything to help us. That was a blessing. Oops. And we took out a little project credit card from Home Depot to help us because we didn't have some of the money to do all of this. And it was going to take three or five days. Well, the credit card showed up in um, two days, I think. And so yesterday we were able to go buy the flooring, which was over $1,000. And today Mike is going to use it to buy the carpet. So God totally blessed us, even during a yucky situation. All right, there's the outside of my card. It's Halloween. Now this one's gonna open this way. And I have my insert. I'm not gonna do another layer because we've got some nice color there. So let's see, what sentiment am I going to use on this one? It's Halloween. Hmm. How about have a perfect Halloween? God is good all the time, Gail. Even when bad things happen, God is good. For sure, my friend. All right. Have a perfect Halloween. And then I think we need another little kitty here. So kitty is in the jack-o'-lantern. Um... Maybe, maybe I will pull this little cat. Actually, he's not little. He's a big, fat, chunky cat. He's been eating too much kitty food. Mm. Let's see. Because he looks like he's sitting on something. Maybe we will put the pumpkin here and the cat can sit on top of the pumpkin. I think that's what I'll do. Yep. All right. So we'll do a little jack-o'-lantern. And then I'm going to stamp this other cat image. So you're going to see all three cat images from this stamp set. Just inking that black up really good. And then you can see how he looks like he's sitting on something. I'm just going to line this up so he looks like he's sitting on the pumpkin. Okay. And then I'm going to color my pumpkin. All right, so when I'm done, I'm going to keep, I'm going to turn this video off and I'm going to work on something different. And when I've got my designs ready, I'll hop back on and do another video. And I know people have things to do. So if you don't catch me live, that's okay. You can watch the replay. Just know that I am doing multiple videos today. Um, up into the evening. My last one will will be 6 o'clock for sure. Like my normal time is on Tuesdays. Um, so if you don't catch me live, you can always go back and watch the replays. And then, not today, but maybe tomorrow, I will be posting all these videos on my YouTube channel. So that will be another way that people can watch these. Because not everybody has Facebook. So I'm just taking my dark pumpkin pie pen and I'm just doing lots of outlining 
give it some distinction here. Okay. And then we're going to glue that in. Maybe I should put a little spider on there too. That would be cute. Okie dokie. Let's do a little spider. I think that spider is just adorable. I think I like the spider better than the bats. All right. Make sure that spider web is a little straighter. Okay. All right. And then our spider. There's a little bit of a gap in between the line. Oops, I got something on here. I'm going to have to shave that off. There's a little bit of a gap in between the spider web. I wonder what's on here. And the spider. So that's why you want to do it separate and not put them on the block at the same time, or you're going to have a gap in between your little web and your spider body. A little bit of ink that looks like it got there. Okay. There is my card. Thanks for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed seeing these cute, crazy, clever cats. All right. I will see you later. Bye-bye.